lay out a run, we split up the hour, okay, or the two hours. What I expect is 28 minutes to trim. At 29 minutes, my hammer hits steel. If I haven't hit, hit steel at 29 minutes, I am behind. And if I have not turned in a pair of shoes to be judged within the first hour, I am behind. Okay, so those are two important. Then give myself another 30 minutes to finish up uh, my second pair of shoes. Now we have 30 minutes to finish shoeing that horse. So it gives us like uh, seven and a half minutes per foot to nail and clinch when you look at it that way. 30 minutes seems like a lot of time, and that's only seven and a half minutes per foot to clinch and finish. Just because you guys have nippers in your box doesn't mean you have to use them. If you get a short foot, take advantage of that situation. So my goal when I get done doing my knife work is I want my knife work done so that my sole leads up to the edge of my hook. Now that's the big bad secret to being able to get your feet flat. I'll find this foot. And I'll figure out how much steel I want for it. Then I'll dress it, come back and finish flattening it. So I'm gonna start my coarse side, work around to my left, work around to my left, smooth side, starting at that left heel, a lot of motion in my left hand, not very much on my right. That last inch of the foot I like to do with a half round. Again, starting at the left, working around to my right. Last thing I'll do is I'll round up my edges. guys are doing your run, even though it's your final horse, remember the second word of that. It's still a horse, okay? So what that means is if you run at him with your aileron cade on, like there's a snake under him and you're going to stomp it, the horse is probably going to try to reload it. And you probably earned it. start on the left hand side and you overlap. I'm just put my knife stroke in the previous stroke I already made, right? Just overlap, 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 overlap. and not just rasping aimlessly on a foot. So you'll notice most of the time when I trim, you'll see me check my foot after my nip before I ever rasp. Reason for that being,
you do a run, your knives need to be sharp. Like, you need to be able to just drag that knife across and it'll peel the layer off without applying pressure. Now, what kind of brand of knives do you use? <laughs> Chris Gregory. <laughs> These feet right here would be a gift at a certification. Now one thing you gotta watch out for, especially on hind feet, is your offset. So to get a hold of my offset, what I'll do is I'll put a straight edge across the back. Look at how much shorter that inside heel is than the outside heel. So I'm gonna put just a heavy eighth, maybe three sixteenths of an inch offset in this horse, as long as the heels are half the width of the foot. Half the width of that foot is two and three eighths. That foot measures four or two and three quarter. So I'm gonna subtract three eighths of an inch off of my measurement. So four and three quarter plus five and a quarter is 10. Plus an inch and a half is 11 and a half. Minus my quarter, quarter inch for the uh, the heel value. Yeah, we'll have one with the heel, sorry. Three and three quarter. It was two and three quarter. Two and three. So you subtract the quarter inch from your toe. Yep. Because half the width of the foot is two and three eighths. So it's actually three eighths of an inch that I should cut off. Well, I'll go with the bigger measurement. I can always wrap the shoe. Okay, remember we were talking about that offset? Find my center front spark coming out of the fire. Foot. I take care of my 
45 minutes left, this is where everyone bogs down. You can get through this without bogging down. Most of the time you'll get down with plenty of time. Line up, pull straight back. Mark my clips, cut my clips. Line up, pull straight back. Corner. A bit narrow, but the length is going to be a lot better on this one, thankfully. Alright, where are we at? We are at 
One twelve. Four. Bless you. I think the sunshine may be interfering my shot a little bit. That's not good. Straight nail lines come from well-fit shoes, guys. I don't know how, how much you understand that yet, but if your shoes are right, your nails just kind of drive themselves. Those are both nailed on in just a hair of a few minutes. But that will go on your score. Well, what happens is they score what you show them, right? So if you've passed with what they've, with what they've scored, then you pass to that point. You ever nail it on, handmade, and you want to pull the nail, put your block on the shoe, on the nail, and hit the shoe. Now pop the nail up. Then my nail's over to 90. Make sure they're the right length. Grasp underneath it. I like to get as much done, one of the reasons I like a hammer gouge is I get as much done from one side as I can. And I can gouge all six nails fairly fast and efficiently. All from one side. Then I only have to pick up my clinchers twice. That's the only tool that has to be picked up twice. Where am I at, Joseph? 143. 143. Alright, off front of the journeyman run. Off hind of the journeyman run. Alright, the near front of the journeyman run. Okay, and there is the near hind of the journeyman run. Good job, thank you.